We learned in the previous video that antibiotics are administered due to their selective toxicity. That is, they kill or hinder the growth of bacteria, but not human cells. Well, in this video, we're going to go over a list of common antibiotics in clinical use, their spectrum, classification, and routes of administration. So first up in this list, we have beta-lactam antibiotics. Beta-lactam antibiotics, as the name tells you, are the antibiotics that contain this beta-lactam ring in the molecular structure. Now, these include penicillin derivatives that are named with a suffix penams, cephalosporins, named with a suffix cefems, monobactams, carbapenams, and a new class of beta-lactams that are the carbacephams. As you can see, all of these have a beta-lactam ring in their molecular structure. Now, first in the beta-lactam category, we have penicillins. Well, most of us and our grandmas are aware of this antibiotic. A penicillin penicillin work by inhibiting the peptidoglycan cross-linkage in the bacterial cell wall. The peptidoglycan layer is important for cell wall structural integrity, and without it, the bacteria will obviously die. However, resistance to penicillin is widely observed in several types of bacteria, which is why further modification to penicillin have extended their antibacterial spectrum and improved their absorption. So overall, penicillins now include natural penicillins, for example, a benzyl penicillin or penicillin V, penicillinase resistance penicillin, for example, fluoxicillin, amino penicillins, for example, ampicillin-like agents, expanded spectrum penicillins, for example, piperacillin and penicillins that are combined with beta-lactamase inhibitors, for example, amoxicillin and clavulinate, also known as co-amoxiclav. Now, if we talk about natural penicillins, benzyl penicillin is unstable in the presence of gastric acid and must be given intravenously. But penicillin V is stable and can be given orally. The amino penicillins and phlogloxacillin are also absorbed orally. Now they are distributed in the extracellular fluid but do not cross the blood-brain barrier unless the meninges are inflamed. Penicillins are secreted by the kidney and have a short half-life. Now next in the beta-lactam family we have cephalosporins. Cephalosporins are closely related to penicillins and they constitute a subgroup of beta-lactam antibiotics that are called CFAMs. Now, cephalosporins are bactericidal and have the same mode of action as other beta-lactam antibiotics such as penicillin, but are less susceptible to beta-lactamases. They also disrupt the cross-linking of the peptidoglycan in the bacterial cell wall. Now, cephalosporins include cephalexin, cephazolin, Cefaclor, ceftriaxone, and cefepime. Now, among these, the cefalexin and cefaclor are absorbed orally, while cefazolin and ceftriaxone and cefepime are given intravenously. Now, they are well distributed in extracellular fluid, and whether they cross the blood brain barrier or not depends upon the generation to which the cephalosporin belongs to. Remember that most of the cephalosporins are excreted renally. They are active against gram-positive organisms, and succeeding generations have activity against gram-negative bacteria as well, including Pseudomonas. The antibiotic may be used for patients who are allergic to penicillin due to the different beta-lactam antibiotic structure. Monobactams also belong to the beta-lactam family. Remember that monobactams are monocyclic and bacterially produced beta-lactam antibiotics. Notice that the beta-lactam ring is not fused to another ring, which is in contrast to most other beta-lactams. Estreonam is the commercially available monobactam. They have a broad spectrum of activity, including against anaerobes, and they must be given intravenously. 
Carbapenems are broad-spectrum antibiotics, and they work in a similar fashion to other beta-lactams. Now, carbapenems are a class of beta-lactam antibiotics that are active against many aerobic and anaerobic gram-positive and gram-negative organisms. But what distinguishes carbapenems is that this class of antibiotics is usually reserved for known or suspected multidrug-resistant bacterial infections, or MDR infections. Remember that thinamycin was the first carbamenopan to be discovered in 1976. The carbazifams are rel relatively a newer class of beta-lactam antibiotics. They also prevent bacterial cell division by inhibiting cell wall synthesis. Now, they are similar in structure to cephalosporins. And the main difference is that they contain a methylene group in place of silver atom in cephalosporin. Lorocarbaf is the first carbazifam to undergo clinical development. And other experimental carbacifams are being produced with the aim of developing potent oral antibiotics that can be used against pathogens that cause infections that are commonly found in outpatient settings.